So today we are going to draw this awesome mushroom cloud or nuclear explosion inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dire Graphics. So this video was requested by a viewer called Jessica. If you have a suggestion for a video you would like me to make, type it in the comment section below and maybe I'll do your video as well. So now let's get into the video. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and select snap to grid. Then select the ellipse tool and while holding down the shift key draw a circle from one of these cross sections right here and make the circle four squares tall. Then go down to fill and deactivate the fill leaving only the stroke left. Now choose the selection tool again and while holding down the alt key duplicate this circle and move it to right here. Then duplicate this circle and place it right in the middle of the first circles. Then once again duplicate this circle and move it up until it aligns with this line right here. Now grab the ellipse tool once again and this time draw a circle that is only one square tall. Select the selection tool again and move the circle over right here and down until the middle aligns with this line right here. Copy the circle to the other side. Now select both these circles and duplicate them to the bottom. Then select these three circles right here and with the arrow keys on your keyboard, move them down two times. One, two. Then select only the big circle and move that one down one more time. So now we have the top of the mushroom cloud and we are now doing the stem of the mushroom cloud. So grab the pen tool, go to this cross section right here and click one time. Then go four squares down and one to the left. Then three squares to the right and simply finish it off. Then while holding down the alt key, Go to this corner right here and drag this anchor point one square out. This will make the line curve. Do the same thing in the other side. Now go to the selection tool and move this stem up until the top of the stem aligns with the middle of this square right here. Then go to the ellipse tool, go to the middle of the bottom of the stem, hold down the alt key and draw an ellipse like this. So five squares wide and one square tall. Then go to the selection tool again and let's zoom in a little bit. So go to the selection tool, select these two circles right here, this one and this one, hold down the alt key to duplicate and simply drag them down to this line right here. Then select this circle, duplicate this one a little bit to the side and then move it down three times. One, two, three. Copy it to the other side. After that, select the ellipse tool again and draw an ellipse from this cross section right here and three squares to the right and half a square down. Now go to the selection tool and select the entire drawing. Then instead of a stroke, make it a fill. So you could use the icon like this, but we want the mushroom cloud to have some more dimension. So let's keep editing a little bit. Now go to the ring of the cloud and make the ring a stroke again. Then make the stroke a lot wider. I will go for 25 points, but it could be something else for you, as long as you think it looks good. When you are happy with the width of the ring, select the ring again, go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. So now we need the ring to look like it goes behind right here and in front right here. So for this, select both the ring and the stem and add a stroke to these two shapes. About a fifth of the stroke size you chose for your ring will do fine. I chose 25 points for my ring, so these strokes are 5 points. You can choose whatever stroke size you want, it is just easier if there is still a little bit of air right here. Now go to object, go to expand again. Once again make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then zoom in to the drawing. Now select the shape builder tool. Then, while holding down the ALT key to get this minus sign next to the cursor, subtract following lines. Now go to the middle of the ring and subtract these lines right here. Now zoom in tight to this area right here. Then choose the shape builder tool again and subtract all these small squares right here. Now the leftover lines are removed and we can now shape the ring. So we want this part of the ring to be in front of the stem. So hold down the ALT key and delete these two lines right here. Then hold down the ALT key again and delete these two lines right here. 
and to get this part of the ring to look like it goes behind the stem, hold down the ALT key and delete these parts right here and these parts right here. Now zoom out. Then choose the selection tool, select the entire drawing. So as you can see the icon is still just a lot of small shapes on top of each other. So let's unite the shapes. So go down to Pathfinder and if Pathfinder isn't open, you can go to Window and find Pathfinder right here. Then go down to Pathfinder panel and click Unite. Thank you for watching.